Allah because Allah can reveal whatever He wants. <clears throat> so, 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 Muhammad in, in, in the Hira cave, he heard seven different ways from Jabil. Yes, I saw Allah. Seven different ways. Yeah, yeah. No, because you know what I'm saying? That's not the only book. But, but my, friend, my point is that your understanding of the Prophet and even your understanding of the Quran comes from what these men say 200, 300 years later. We've got the Tafsir, yeah. At Tabri, Ibn Kathir. We've got for those. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, look at the Quran. We've got the Quran, yeah. That's what you're going to have to look at. Right. So, guess what? So, my arguments are from those sources. But he's talking about the certain copies that were burnt. Yes, we believe that. But you Right. So, the Quran was burnt because there is a central authority that took your religious scriptures and burnt them. Can and then standardize them for you. Can you, can you ask you. me why? Listen, listen, listen. Can it's, you ask me why? Your, your religion is not yeah, the religion no, of Muhammad, it's the religion of Uthman. No, it's not. Is Muhammad the greatest moral example for you as Muslims today? We have Muhammad, mm. that the, that the only thing that is available to us, clearly through evidences, we have him forward to us. Anything else is not as clear as him in evidence. Okay, so he is clearly the best example for you to follow? Yes. Yeah, and this is in the Quran, yeah? Surah 33, yeah, Ayah 21. We believe. So there is clear a good moral example in Muhammad, yes. the messenger. Okay, so does that include everything he did then? Yes, everything, everything he did is, is a clear well, example me, for mankind. Let me clear something before we okay. carry on, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Everything the Prophet, the prophet done, yeah. Yeah, doesn't mean that we were told to do. Okay? Right. So, right. So, so, so there's a distinction the prophet, between being permissible and being told to do it. Yes. So just because so, Muhammad did something yes, doesn't so that, mean that you have to do it, but it would mean that it's permissible unless, for you to do it. Been commanded unless it's been commanded. Unless it's been commanded. Through the right. to tell the people to do so. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So when Muhammad, for example, do you, are you guys aware that Muhammad sold slaves? Are you aware? Sold slaves. According to a hadith, he Sunni al Bukhari, he, he did free slaves, yes, but he also owned and traded slaves. Owned and traded slaves? Yes. Okay. 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 Do you accept that? Okay, can I ask you what you mean by slave? Yeah. Give, me, give me a history example of slave. Okay. So this In the time of the Prophet, not the time of the Okay, so this would have been castle slavery, where you own a slave and you can do with them as you want because they are your property. No, no, no. You don't think that was the case. So, so, Western slavery now. Well, Western slavery had a racial component. Yes. I don't think necessarily there was a racial component here, but there was a component of seeing slaves as your property. Yes. As someone that is, like for example, you live in a home, don't you? Yeah? You look after your home. Adorn it, you, you adorn your own bedroom, yeah. you, adorn your own, you adorn yourself by your clothes, this is your property. Yeah. The same way the slaves, where they have nowhere to go, you keep them, look after them and adorn them. And when you, when, when you, when you, when you want more reward, you can free them. Oh, okay. Can you have sex with them? Yes, of course you can. Yeah. You can have sex with your friends. Yes. Can you no. have sex with any group? No, you can't. I can't have sex with them. No, why not? Because sex is, is forbidden to us, that's fornication. Are you, are you, are you have to be married. Are you talking about Christian? Yeah, yeah, I'm a Christian. So from the Christian perspective, yeah. you have to be married and you can be married to one woman. Okay. Can you be married to more than one woman? So you, can be, you can't be married to more than one woman? No, not in Christianity. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. The prophets yeah, yeah. that you believe in, they did not. Yeah, yeah. But you see, we don't have the same view as the prophets as you do. You think so the prophets what, what are you sinless. Yeah. Belief on them? Yeah, so we believe that the prophets are men of God who made mistakes because they are human. So they made mistakes. Yes. So were they, so, were they given the message to by God? God to Preach. We believe they were they fully expressed the message of God as intended because God commanded them to do so and they did. But they also flew they also drew away because they are men. If they made mistakes, then you can't say they truly did the message then. Because you said they made mistakes. So did Muhammad make any mistakes? No. No mistakes at all. Okay. So when Muhammad when Muhammad traded in black slaves, he traded two black slaves for one non-black slave. Was that that wasn't wrong? I don't have that evidence there. Where did you get that? Okay, I'll find that for you if you okay. like. Okay, let's talk about this. Give me a second. Uncle Google? Two black slaves for one white slave, yeah? You what? Two black slaves for one white slave. Not white, I think it was. It, it's not referenced what the other slave's colour was. It just says so two you black said slaves. Two black. Yeah, there's two black slaves for one other slave. It doesn't say white slave, it just says so another slave. Okay. And. <coughs> okay. So this is Sunan An Nasai 4184. It was narrated that Jabir said, A slave came and pledged to the Prophet to emigrate, and the Prophet did not realize that he was a slave. 
Then his master came looking for him. The Prophet said, sell him to me, and he bought him for two black slaves. Then he did not accept the pledge from anyone until he asked, is he a slave? That is Surah An-Nasai 4184 and that is Sahih. Okay. That's okay. Sunnah. Sunnah. okay, so what's your question? Mm -hmm. My question then is because Muhammad traded specifically okay, so in black slaves as well as other slaves, the is that acceptable today for you as, Mus as a Muslim? Is it prohibited? Is there's it no slavery, permitted for you? No slavery, right, but if you were to follow Sharia, could you own slaves as Muhammad did? If, if it was the way that like it was in the back, yes. In them no, 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 today. No, I'm if, saying, if, if it was a caliph if, today yeah, and, and the Sharia was implemented, yeah. would it be permissible according to the behavior of Muhammad to own slaves and to trade them? Yes, if you, so you can free yes. them. Yes. What, just to free them? Yeah, you can Muhammad them. only had yeah. slaves to free them. Muhammad, like listen to you, either to look after them or either to free them. Or to have sex with them. No, when you, 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 you say when you say slaves, mm -hmm. when you say slaves, are you talking about women only or are you talking about men as well? Uh, both. Yeah, so then you can't have sex with anyone and not men. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah. Yes. You, you, you have sex with your female slaves. Yes, yeah. so that, there you go. That's one thing clear because you kept mentioning that. Mm -hmm. Second thing is, slavery, if it is in the, the way it goes with the rules of Islam, mm -hmm. which is you feed them for what you eat, you make them wear for what you, what you wear, no problem. Because they have come, they have come into a situation of uh, a, a okay. state I, I totally where, get that there are rules about how you treat your slaves. Yes, I've, I've read the hadith, I've clearly seen yes. that there are rules about yes. that. If you want to have sex with your female slave yeah. and she says no, so she she can, says you no. Do it, can you do it anyway? No. Then if really? It, if it's false, no, no. Really? Yeah. Even if it's, if it's someone your white hand possesses? Yeah. Even if it's a female slave that you if possess? It's false. Of course, you can't do it by force. Right? There's no, there is no in Islam, are you are you are you permitted no force, to use force against women no, in Islam? So in Surah 4, Ayah 34, yeah, where it talks, no about, force. talks about being able to beat your wife if, no, she, if you fear you, rebellion. You, you, you said it wrong. It okay. doesn't talk about how to beat your wife. No, it doesn't say, it say how, how to. It, it talks just says how to yeah. reconcile together. How right? And what does that process involve? So it's the three stages, yeah? So either, okay, you tell me. Either you can read the passage, by the way. Get the passage if you want to read it. Surah 4, Ayah 34. I don't know, don't worry. Either you're telling me you have some gold, either you throw the gold away or either you keep it. And to keep it, you have to secure it. Which way would you do? Which way would you do? How is this relevant to the question? How is this relevant to the question? I will explain. I'll secure it. Answer the question. You're saying that slavery is okay with. with, with no, no, it's not slavery. I'm talk he's talking about. Well, this is, this is, okay, but it's about the context of beating women. Yes? Yeah, beating women. Okay. Can you beat a woman in, in, a woman in Islam? Your wife in Islam? If it is my wife. Let me explain to you. When you say about beating women, uh, you don't go out there beating women. That's right, wrong. No, no, That's it, not what Islam says. It clearly says in the verse that if you fear rebellion from one of your wives. So is the wife allowed to rebel? I don't think so. So then, if she's not allowed to do that, right? Then you should hit her. No. You can't, then you, can't, you can't make marks on the body. Where, okay, where does it say that? Where does it say that? That's it's in the hadith. Yeah, it's in the hadith. Yeah, it's in the hadith that came 200, 300 years later. No, who said but the Quran itself, itself, what is who said revealed from Allah? Who said? Does do you know what hadith means? Hmm. Do you know what hadith means? Yeah, it means narrations from the prophet. From who? From, from, from who? From the prophet. So how did 200 years later? Because people supposedly have isnad, a mutawatta narration supposedly, from, from supposedly, the prophet. Did you, did you say supposedly? Oh well, yeah, because I don't think it's a good science. I don't, I don't think so over 200 got, years you can accurately recall what people said. I think you can accurately recall 2000 years later, forget 200. What people said? Yes. Like word for word? Yes. Without ever writing it down? No, obviously it has Without to be. ever visiting that actual place? Without ever talking to these people. No, it directly. has to be. That's the only way. Look, Muhammad died in 632, yeah, so we couldn't get it from him. Do you not think the companions yeah. were with him? Yeah, the companions were, yeah. And do you not think some of the companions When did the companions die? Right? The companions died in the first century. We're talking about the 9th century when that hadith, hadith was written. The first... No, when was 9th century, did you say? Yeah, yeah, 800s. 800s. Sahih Al-Bukhari is 800s. Sahih Al-Bukhari is... Oh, which, which years are you looking at? Are you looking at Hijri years or are you looking at... Oh, uh, 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 AD, yeah? Yeah, so after Hijra, so, uh, so that would be, that would be, two, three hundred. So that's going to be mixed up. The Prophet, when he came, 
and then after him, his companions, after him was the people who were with the companions, after him was the people who were with those people that were with the companions, and it carries on. The hadiths were written prior to that. You're talking about a book that was collected and gathered together, and someone is gathered all together. He's collected like that. It doesn't mean that it was not written before. But we don't know that, and we have no, no evidence no, to believe that. There is evidence. Where is the evidence that the narrations were all written down? From our history. Okay, okay, so, so let, let, let's look at this way. Sahih al-Bukhari, yes? Bukhari himself. Yeah. He was from modern day Uzbekistan. Yes. He went He went to Basra, he went to Kufa. He, he, went, to he, so many he went to Iraq. Did he go to Mecca? Yes, of course. He, he, didn't, he never went to Mecca. Who said he never went to Mecca? Yeah. Show me proof he went to Mecca. Oh my God, did you not even know that he... Should, actually, mm. let me tell you something. This is where you're going to get one. You're going to have to learn something. He actually compiled one of his books outside the grave of the Prophet. And he says, I compiled it in the outside the grave of the Prophet in the nights when the, when the moon was... Well, you got the whole, got the whole book. No, compiled them. Like uh, when he finished off some of his books, he said that's when I finished it. So if you are saying he never even went no, there, he never went there. So how has he written this then? Because he hears it. Uh, no, I mean, I mean if you read, if you read Bakari, he says I heard narrated by uh, no, Abdullah Yes, I'm saying he never went to Mecca. I'm saying he went Mecca. He's been Mecca. I don't think he's been Mecca. No. And uh, no. he was born in Uzbekistan. Oh my God, I know. But he's traveled. Right. How far places. is Uzbekistan from, from so, Mecca? So does that mean he cannot travel? Yes, he did travel. We know yes. where he travels. So why? He, he records where he travels. Yes, he travels and he travelled in Makkah and Medina as well. It says Kufa and Basra. Why are you arguing with me about someone who's read this? I'm, I'm someone who's read this as well. No, you haven't. Have you read Arabic? Which, which book have you read? Why do I need to know Arabic? Because how would you know? Do you know do French? Well, what's the point of different languages? What's the point? Because you're talking about, okay, so what was your relevance to this question about him leading to Mecca? Why did he have to go to Mecca? Anyway? Because he never went Even to the actual ranks. place where the, the people lived that he's quoted. Who said that he didn't go to Mecca? Are you telling you? He never you me, that he went to Mecca. Are you telling me that the people that he narrated from are those people that weren't even there? So if I narrated something from you, and you were in, for example, you were in France and I narrated from you and you told me something and then it happens to be that you live in England does that mean that no, no, because no. you live in England what I'm saying I is, have recorded if you, if you trust a narration from someone it's wise that you either know them, you know their immediate yes, relatives or friends teacher, or you go there Every teacher that Imam had met mm. every teacher, he has met them whoever he has narrated Wait, from, he has met and, and his, his narrations are only the ones that he said are authentic he, no, he, no. He, he openly says himself, he knows about like a hundred thousand yes, yes. different hadiths. Yeah, so he's but he is saying, he, he's just going, nope, 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 nope. And then, oh, well, I like this one. Yeah. No, because you know what I'm saying? That's not the only book. But, but my, friend, my point is that your understanding of the Prophet and even your understanding of the Quran comes from what these men say 200, 300 years later. Where is it going to come from? Animals? Who is it going to come from? It should have come from Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad should have Muhammad had the Quran written today. down. But Muhammad he didn't. Not here Muhammad never told anyone so to write down the Quran. And who said he didn't? Of course, the Quran. No, the, 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 your tradition say he didn't. The hadith no, say he didn't. The Qurans were written on different, different uh, uh, No, parts, parts of it were written on uh, on leaf and on stone. Yes. But, but Abu Bakr and, and compiled the Quran, the Quran yes? yes, in 634. Well, the, Quran is, the Quran is a book to memorize. Right. See, whenever I show them to Muslims so that their book hasn't been written down, they go, ah, but it's been memorized. It's all been memorized. Okay. But, you know, but, you know, but it's been memorized differently by different people. I see, I really, really. Ubay ibn Kaab, one of the four greatest reciters of the Quran, had a totally different Quran to him. Who said you had a totally different Quran? He did. And you're in your narrations again. Yeah, you have see, a you see, don't see, Sahih al-Bukhari says the Quran mm. was revealed with seven different methods. Seven yeah, the Quran is here. Yeah. 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 So they're, okay. oh, they're all correct. They're all correct, yes. even though they are different words. Doesn't matter. They're even all, though, the even though Muhammad, the, the, the recita uh, recitations that came from the greatest um, understanders of the Quran, according to Muhammad, according to your ideas, they disagreed. Who? Muhammad agreed with his own Abdullah ibn Masood. Oh, you are telling me Muhammad disagreed with his own teachings? No, I'm saying so that the saying companions that? of Muhammad disagreed with what was being recited the, after so his death. So the companions of Muhammad disagreed with who? Ma with, with, Muhammad. with what was being recited. With, 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 with Muhammad. Ubay ibn Muhammad and Abdullah ibn Masood. Ubay ibn Kaab and Abdullah ibn Masood, two of the best reciters according to Muhammad, according to your traditions, yes. said that the Quran was being recited differently with different surahs yeah. after so, Muhammad so, had died. No, no, you know what I'm saying. Your, the Quran, your Quran has changed. Seven different ways. Well, I've got the, the companions to understand. They that. did. That's why it's there. They argued about it. You know, no, no. there is a hadith. Okay, there is a hadith okay, where. Let me ask you, where, let me where, ask where, you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you If one companion has been taught one way and another one has been taught another way and they didn't know each other's ways at that time, 
What are they going to say? <laughs> what are they going to say? How do you mean? That's my question. If one has been taught one way and another has been taught another way, well, they and they're both from Allah, they're both, they're both they both. they say different things? They both recitated from Allah because Allah can reveal whatever He wants. <clears throat> so, 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 Muhammad in in, in the hierarchy, he heard seven different ways from Jabil. Uh, yes, I thought Allah had seven different ways. Yeah, but yes. there were different so, so Jabir was like, okay, so here's his way number one. Now remember that. His way number two. Now remember that. Well, not the whole ways. Quran was different. Not the whole Quran. <coughs> certain different well, words. Well, entire surahs are different. Not entire surahs. According surah. to no, no. Ibn no, and not entire surahs. Surah. Certain words in each surah. So, listen, there, there is a certain Sahih. Words. There is a Sahih Hadith where one of the um, um, one of the early. Um, wait, wait, yeah, that's not from the Quran. Quran. Uh, this is the Quran. But what I'm saying is, is that there are trust narrations where they say, look, there are. Citing different Qurans. This yeah, isn't true. Not, this not different these are wrong. Different dialect. Mm. Different dialect. Because he was taught one way, another was taught the other way, and they're both correct. What's your point? They say different things. They can't be because correct. Bring, how can you say? Bring, how can you say? Bring your phone. Wait, wait. If I said to you, if I said to you, hey guys, whenever the Bible says something, it doesn't matter if it says different things. They're all correct. No, that's wrong. You 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 go. No, 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 no. They do. I don't think they do. I'm just saying. That's what it's an absolute. Fact. They don't say different things. Exactly. The Bible, what, what are you talking about? Okay, you know why the Bible, we can say that? It's because the Bible has no evidence from the early source. We have sources from our first century. When's your earliest Quran? When's your earliest Quran? Can you yeah. show me which first century have you got the Bible from? So we have parts of John's Gospel, which is what's a part? What's a part? Which is how big is the Bible? For me, how big is the Bible? First, so the how century. big is the Bible today? Sixty-six books. Okay, and how much was that of the first century that you have? We have the Bible. Yeah. One paragraph. Yeah, for P fifty two. One paragraph. On P fifty two. One paragraph and the whole Bible. How much so you, you have? Nothing. You only have one paragraph. Do you know? What? <laughs> so that means you have nothing. Do you know what the, rest what the material the Bible was written down so on the, in the first century? Do you know what the material the Bible was written down on? During times of incredible persecution. When the Romans and the Jews were destroying scripture, wherever they found at least, them, at least with the Quran, we have, have all the companions. No, no, first, learning, first AH, you don't have it. We have all the companions learning from the Prophet. And but it wasn't written down. You yeah. don't have anything from the first century. Yeah, they were just memorized. It was memorized. It was memorized in different ways, and the companions disagreed about it. Okay, shall I tell you the biggest evidence? Shall I tell you the biggest evidence? I give you the biggest evidence. Did you read? He said it cannot only be memorized, it has to be memorized. You can read your most that's what you're saying. Five, five men wrote the Bible. And here five today, men, there's five another person in the other part of the world today. He will recite the same, the same way as me. I have not met him. Well, it depends on what Quran you recite from. It doesn't matter. Is you recite from, from, from Hajj? Uh, uh, Hafskram? Keep quiet. He will still be reciting the Quran. They're different. You know they're different Qurans, yeah? They're not different Qurans. They are different Qurans. They are literally written in Arabic. Okay, listen. There's a bunch of Muslims around you telling you it's the same one. I've studied this. No, you have not. You have not. You have this jacket on. There's a Walsh Quran. There is a Hafs Quran. It's a different dialect. Same way. There's Manchester, Birmingham. Is the Arabic the same? Is the Arabic the same? Yeah, it's the same. You pronounce it differently. The meaning is the same. If they were the same, then why are they different books? You know what? There's a different Quran. Do you know the Quran? Do you know the Quran? I've read the Quran. No, no, sir. Tell me where they're different. Do you know Arabic? Tell me where they're different. Which part is different? Which part is different? There are different parts. We can bring it up. Give us a little bit. 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 Give us a Tell me how. There's seven. Listen, listen. My argument is that there are different Qurans, and I can prove this by showing you the actual different Qurans. My answer to you is that what you're saying, the different dialects, it's all one Quran. Yes. Why all one If it was different dialects, you would just re read the same source yes. and say it differently, right? Arabic. I know Arabic. Bring it up, I will explain to you how they are the same. Right. It doesn't matter that you know Arabic. It, it has to be. Why? 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 Because I can explain to you I, I can, There are, there are well, Arabic scholars explain. that will openly say, yeah, there are different Qurans. There's a half scholar. <laughs> If I say this Shabi Ali, Shabi Ali, is that Hafs Quran and Walsh Quran? He said yes. That's not. Quran. And he would say there are different Quran. Quran. That's called different Quran. Yeah. Right, but different there are different Quran. words in them. And he no, go yes, there, there are different words. The pronunciation is different. The pronunciation. Even if there's different words, what's your point? The point is they're all from Allah. The point is the pronunciation is different. Does that not seem like a massive cop out? No. You point out, you point out different words in the different books and you're like, oh, but it's all from Allah. Different no, different dialects, my friend. Because people are throwing stones. Look at the different versions of the 
Bible that, that exists today. No, no, yeah? when the Quran, and, and we're the talking Quran, about Islam. We, we're talk, okay, when the Quran was being revealed, let me explain something. When the Quran is being revealed, right. okay, Allah has sent it in different dialects to the Prophet Muhammad. Why? Different to tribes, make it different easy tribes, for the people because it's the same, same word of Allah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Different, different tribes, different I, I, thought, I thought the authority from this is the Quraysh dialect. Yeah. It was. It, Uthman, no, your no, Uthman no, 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 compiled no, no. the Quran in the Quraysh dialect, yes? Quraysh. Yes, it's, the, you know Quraysh. it's, it's, it's uh, the tribe from which Muhammad came from. Okay. Yeah? And then he conquered it back what, in like 630. Where does Uthman come from? I don't know the tribe he comes They from. come from Quraysh as well. Oh, okay. So he learned it that way. Sure. So does it mean that what he learned is the only way? No, he standardized it in the text that he what? sent out to Basra, to Kufa, to Mecca, to Medina. Because that's also Quran. That's why he said that. Because right. Also and he Quran. said, no, 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 Uthman, you can check this out, check this out, guys. Uthman burned copies of the Quran that didn't agree with his Quraysh dialect. Not that didn't agree. Why? Why? No, that is it. Read it. Go, go home and Google it. Bring that evidence. You're saying this. I'll explain that You said the same. Bring it. He said the way. Uthman, the Quran, we have, we have to read. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran. Okay. Are you listening? Okay, yeah, let, yeah. Me, let, me, let me explain something to you. The Quran that we have today, the, the Uthman's compilation, mm. guess what? What? All of them, seven different dialects, can be inside that same Quran. It can be read what? because do you know, so, the, do you know, the, do you know, yeah. you know how Arabic is written. Scottish and English. What? Teach Arabic me. today, Arabic is written differently the way it was written that time. Sure. So now, when you write Arabic, for example, you have the word ba. Okay, the second letter in the Arabic language. That ba is written today like that with a dot underneath. Yeah. In that time, there was no dots. Sure. So even yeah. the third letter, ta, was without dots. Mm. So a easy. person could to see it, it and probably think it's a ta. Well, actually, or this is a problem because we actually know that the, the Arabic that the Quran is written in wasn't actually a developed language at the time of Muhammad. Are you mad? That's why it was no, 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 the, it might have been because revealed it orally. No, no, the, it, orally you know, it was developed, you know, but not written. You know how developed it was? That they, in the marketplace, they used to gather people to boast of their eloquence in the Arabic language. That's how yeah, yeah, when they say it, you yeah, know what? Shall but the actual something? writing Shall wasn't developed, not for another century later. Shall I tell you something? The way it is developed that time is not, it's not even developed now. That's how developed okay, it was okay. are, you, are you familiar with the Sona manuscript? Sona? The, there is a manuscript of the Quran from the 7th century or the 1st century AH where it, it has part, many surahs in it, yeah? The Arabic it's written in doesn't have what we call diacritical marks. It only has the continental rasm, which is the base text for Arabic, yeah? yeah? And that's how it was. The no, reason no. why, no, because you don't know what no, the words say correct. unless you have the diacritical no, marks. No, that's why you learned it by memory. When right, so it comes from an oral tradition. Made. What that's I'm what telling you is that you couldn't have written it down back then because you didn't have the oh, Arabic right. language developed enough to write it down back then. It took hundreds of years. Right, okay, that's right. But you couldn't have written it down. You said it wasn't written. It was in their memory. Okay, you said right, it was at the written. time of Muhammad, yeah. What? 20 minutes ago, you even agreed that it was written on certain different things, like certain... According to you, the narrations, yes, yeah. Yes, so it was I don't, so I don't believe that. I don't believe, believe it because, 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 because we know it's not. We believe because, it because we believe in Islam. But, well, okay, but you're believing something that's not true. Who Evidently said, not true. How are you telling me it's not true? Well, right, okay, so evidence. listen, you can talk it's to, you can talk to Quran experts who look at the manuscripts and say... Who's a Quran expert? Okay, Dr. Nikolai Sinai from Oxford University. Nicholas? Nikolai Sinai from Oxford University. He's Muslim, yeah? Um, uh, he teaches. He teaches Islamic uh, well, studies at Oxford. Arabic, he no, he knows Arabic. Okay. He teaches. What the hell, Nicholas? Why does that matter? That's, that's because how is he going to? You have to bring an Islamic. Are you going to say he's that's an expert of the Quran. You have to memorize it. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's obviously not true. Well, so no atheist is an expert in the Bible, even though they study it, because they don't memorize it. Come on. No, 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 no. no, no he did know Arabic. He doesn't know Arabic. You bring Doctor Nicholas. You don't even know him. You bring Doctor Nicholas. You bring Doctor Nicholas. Google him. Who, who knows it? Listen. I gave you a reference. So Search it up. You're talking about experts. Yeah. The biggest experts of the Quran will be Muslims. Because that's their, that's their religion. That's no, no, that's, no, no. That's listen, religion. listen. In the Christianity, we accept people who are experts, who are some of the best in their field, that aren't Christians. Do they even know Aramaic? Yes, they, they, they do. Yes, they do. They have a Greek Bible and they read in the Greek. And then okay, yeah, they, they know Hebrew and they know Greek. 
Where's the Aramaic? There's no Aramaic. The original is written in Hebrew in the Old Testament, no, parts of it in Aramaic. Okay, once again, and the also the, the New Testament Jesus is written in Greek. Aramaic. We have he, scholars he know, who know, know this. Bar Ehrman is an atheist, but he is one of the greatest scholars of, of biblical text. Because who He's an atheist. Who accepts him? But we accept him as an authority because we value reason over circular logic. And he says it's wrong because he's an atheist, so you go with his opinion then? Yeah, I accept the the claims he makes. No, I don't accept his conclusions, but I accept the evidence he brings. You might bring I accept the evidence he brings, yeah? yeah so if he tells me bring, in the Greek it says this, I'll be like, yeah, so because you're an expert and you evidence? know Greek. Does he bring good evidence? Yeah, yes, because that's his job. That's that his job. Expert. That that's literally his job. Quran, yeah? If you go to Hajj, four million people doing Hajj, yes. 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 whatever, we yeah. say two. Most Muslims yes. have never done Hajj and never will do Hajj. The Imam is recycling Quran, yeah? And two million people are listening. If the Imam of that mosque is scholar, yeah? He must be scholar. If he made one letter, wrong letter, hundreds right, of thousands right. of people behind him, they will correct him. Right, right. But where does this come from, though? We know where it comes from. Uthman standardized the text okay. because it's people just, were just, complaining that we're saying together. different it's versions of the Quran. Together. That's my together. that's my thingy to you. Okay, okay. Uthman's text. I'll give you an example. A case. Listen, this is a Quran word I'm going to read to you. Ya ayyuhaladheena amanu in jaakum fasiqum bi nabain fatabayyanu. Guess what? That same, that's the same guy. You asking about dialects? I'm gonna to say to you, Allah revealed it as fatabayyanu. Allah also revealed it as fatathabatu. If you look at the way it's written, olden days, the way it's not written today. Okay. Now, okay. you could read it fatathabatu. You could read it fatabayyanu. That's the point. My point is to you is Allah, whenever He wanted to reveal it the way He wanted to reveal it, the way He wanted to make it easy for the Arabs, He would do so. Right, and well, He didn't make it easy did. for Arabs because Arabs. They, they argued that's amongst themselves over which recitations were correct. And that's why it's compiled today. So it's easy. It's, yeah, well, because uh, Uthman you, destroyed sir, all of the manuscripts that he didn't agree with and standardized so it in one copy. Who said no? You that's your narration. That's Sahih. This is why bring I'm bring bring you don't understand what Uthman done. Uthman, what he done is he gathered the Quran in one book. How? where you can read all the dialects from that one book. This is the difference. In the other narration, in the other dialects, in the other Quran, the way it's revealed, it was only in one way. This one, the way of man gathered, you can read all the dialects. So now no, no dots, right? Huh? No dots. There was no dots. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So that means the LG one Quran, Quran, Quran is all dots. All dots. All dots. Oh, right, right, right. right. Guys, 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 guys. Can I just can I show you something? I literally just Google. He goes on Google and he goes yeah. on Wikipedia. Yeah. Literally the first. Wikipedia is this all? Wikipedia is just us. Listen, listen, listen. I'm literally reading the very. I mean, the second link says why you didn't burn it. Listen, Uthman ibn Affan, the third caliph of Islam after Muhammad, who is credited with overseeing the collection of the verses of the Quran. You get so far, okay? Ordered the destruction. Okay. No, that's I will explain you. No, no, I will explain of you. any other remaining text containing verses of the Quran okay, after the Quran had been fully collected circa 650 to 653. Okay, okay, this is what Muslims say. That's, that's what Wikipedia says, bro. What, Muslims, are Muslims on Wikipedia? You can edit Wikipedia. Let me, let, me let me explain to you, bro. Let me explain to you. You whatever one you want to bring about Uthman, I will explain to you. I've already explained to you what Uthman does. Listen to me. Are you going to listen? I want to make you understand this point that I'm making. They're saying I'm lying. I already know that. They're saying I'm lying. I'm not like, you know it, wrong. you know that this is true. Right, yes, wrong. but I will explain you're where wrong. you're going wrong. Where am I wrong? Where am I wrong? Where you going wrong? Come on. <laughs> Why don't you listen to me? Because I'm following this. When I find this, obviously, I'll say it out loud to you. No, this is sooner.com. Listen. You've already said it to us. You already read it to us. I'm going to explain to you. Look. Six billion. How many Muslims we have? One point two billion. They are, they are all agree. One well, Quran. You, you're the only one. <laughs> you're huh? the only one saying brother, this. Brother, no, no, no scholars say this. No scholar. Only Muslims say no, what you're saying. No, 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 no scholars no, say this. No, you're the only one. You, you have scholars in your religion that disagree. I'm the one saying this. That's our religion. No one is saying this. You claim this. We are going to tell you what our religion is. If you're going to say to us, no, no, no. I will look at what your scholars say. I will look at what they say. I will look at what they don't look. Which which of the Shabir, uh, no, no, Shabir Ali. No, yeah? no, you want to look at classical books, What's don't you? I can look at that. Look at because the best religion. what someone says today, how do you be the same as what someone says? Because these are Scots, these are sheikhs. No, these are sheikhs of your, your religion. Who classified them? Okay, if I want to know about your religion, I, I listen to. You have to look at the works of it. No man can you. Right. You have to look at the works of it. Yeah, yeah. Classical books. Yeah, yeah. I'm Muslim. Yeah, it's like Sahih Al Bukhari, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you will have to bring up Sahih Al Bukhari. Okay, yeah. You will have to bring up Tafsir, yeah. You have to look at Tabari, Ibn Kathir. We got for those. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, 
look at the Quran. We look at the Quran. Yeah. That's why you go and try to look at. Right. So guess what? So, so my arguments are from those sources. I mean, you said Tafsir al-Tabari. I'm very grateful yeah. that you actually know about that. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you go and open Tafsir al-Tabari? Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to read this out real quickly, just to prove it to you. Uthman sent to every Muslim province one copy of what they had copied and ordered that all the other Quran materials, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, be burned. Okay. This is Sunnah.com. This is Sunnah.com. Who is it in the Arabic? Who What's it say there? Who What's it say there? Who says this? What's it say? Yeah, What's this from? Is it Sahih? Is it Sahih Al-Bukhari? So it's banning wrong. No problem. It's banning wrong. You were telling me that never no. happened. No, you two said, minutes. No, ago. you said. Two minutes. No, ago, you said it destroyed. You said it got destroyed, but it never. Burning them. No, that's not. Burning them is a destroying. Them. Them. He's talking about destruction, meaning totally. Guys, totally. Exactly. be honest about your faith. Exactly. You no, if you have problems with about. it, I, I, go I, home. Look about. at this up. You said it got Don't destroyed. Don't lie to me. Don't tell me it didn't. You said it got destroyed, but that's not destroyed. Burning. Is burning something right. destroying it? No, no, no. He's talking about. Gosh. You don't understand what he's trying to say. He's saying destruction in the sense that there is no Quran afterwards. That's what no, I was clear about that. I said he took the. the, the he took destruction. Yeah. And, and then I went to Sunnah.com yeah, and, and read the hadith of Sahih Bukhari. But he's talking about the, the the certain oh copies oh that were burnt. Yes, we believe that. But you right. So, uh, so the Quran was burnt. But who says large, pa large, large parts of the Quran were burnt? What's wrong with burning? What's wrong with burning? Listen, listen. If I told you that about my religion and I said large parts of the Bible have been burned. I would have a problem why, with it. Why? But for some why reason, you don't have a problem with it when it's your religion. Why do you, you don't why have a problem with it? Because there is a central authority that took your religious scriptures and burnt them can and then standardized them for you. Can you, can you, you. ask me why? Listen, listen, listen. Can if you ask me why? Your, your religion is not the religion of Muhammad, it's the religion of Uthman. No, it's not. Uthman took your scripts, took it burned them. Muhammad. He, no, he took it from he took no, it from um, uh, Sayyid bin uh, Sayyid bin Tawil. Yes. And who did he take it from? He took it from Muhammad. Exactly. It's right. From Muhammad then. Right. Well, he so took it also to according to the sources. Yeah. The yeah. Right. 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 Back. But they were arguing over and who did which Muhammad ones. Take it from? Right. So what are you going to tell me? My listen, listen. Is Muhammad got it from Muhammad himself, from from Hira. What I'm saying is, Ubay ibn Kab said that Muhammad said things differently. Abdullah ibn Masud said that no, no, no. Muhammad said these differently. Yes, you have differences. Because they're all part of the Quran. Different Your Quran dialects. can't be perfectly preserved if the dialects. greatest of reciters of the Quran disagreed on it. Okay, today, God guess what? That. You talk about Uthman. God says, you talk about Uthman. We send this, reveal this Quran. We're gonna protect it. Yeah, but your companions disagreed on it. No, disagreed on what? Disagreed in the book. Not the site. In the Arabic tribe, what? there were different yeah, dialects. Yeah, yeah. So you can't say one oh, dialect to all of them. Said shit. Oh, Obviously, no, no, no. Shamsi ran away. I'm not running away. I'm here. Do you here. remember? I know, I'm I'm here. Here. Were you there? No, I wasn't there. Okay, okay why ran away from you? Yeah, at the end. Do you remember? I don't away from you. Watch it, watch it. When we had a debate with him, remember? Carry on with the debate. It's quite a while. Forget it, Chelsea. Talk about this. I don't know. I don't know how long it went on for. Okay, 40 minutes. And then he went, oh, I can't do this. Talk about this. You want to bring to me. You want to bring to me that why Osman wait, wait. You're just a cameraman, remember? Huh? You're just a cameraman. Remember when you told me that? So you didn't want to debate with me? Because you're just a cameraman? Can you speak to me? Okay. My friends, later. My friends. Can you speak to me? You want to know, God bless. You want to know why Osman burned certain copies? Right, yeah. You want to know. Because burning okay, scripture no, no, no. is a serious you problem. You want to know. You right. want to know. Yep. So changing is not a problem. Are you going to listen to well, what I say? Burning it is changing, changing it, right? Changing is not a problem. Okay. If, if you've got like scripture changing and then I burn some of it and then accept it all the parts of it. One second. One second. We are following you, the wrong you, one. You, you yeah. want to know why? We don't know. You want to know? We don't know. Of course you don't know. Uthman compiled it for you and went here it is. So Uthman is crazy. Okay. But he burns a lot of it. So it's crazy. Okay. He wants us to be Okay. One second. One second. The Quran that Uthman compiled is certain Quran where all the dialects could be read in one. We're so he didn't that, no. need he, any other no, 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 no. He, he took the different, the different no, no, no. reading, the different recitations, and he went, Right, the, it needs to be standardized in the Quraysh no. dialect. Yeah, so Uthman, we take this Uthman, and we burn Uthman. this. Quraysh yeah. includes different tribes of the Arab. You're not understanding. You different know, dialects like, in every tribe. Different dialects in every different tribe. Different, different, uh, different uh, clans, you yeah. Know, but know, the Quraysh are a particular tribe, yeah? Quraysh is a tribe. Right, there are the tribes, yeah? In our Arab. In our Quraysh. In our Every tribe had different dialects. Do you understand that? Put that in your And they argued about them. No, no, they don't understand. Yes, it is. Regenerations. I ask you, what's Quraysh? It's a tribe. Okay. It's a tribe you know, that Muhammad you know how, Ar you know how Ar Arabs work? They have different tribes and different clans. Tribe, they clan Hashim, tribe, Banu Hashim, which is Muhammad yes, is a yes, okay. When you say Banu Hashim mm. and Banu Abdi Munaf mm. and Banu Qusay, sure. Banu Kilab, Banu Fahr, are sure. these all Quraysh? 
Korean. No, some of them are probably from different tribes. <laughs> Maybe they are. The ones I said, they're all Quraysh. Sure. <laughs> The ones I said to you, they're all Quraysh. Why, what has you, that got to do with my argument? This is what it's got to do with. You, you can't play the whole, I know said, tiny yeah. things better no, than you no, thing. This Come is on. What, the reason why yeah. I brought this up is because you said mm. Uthman compiled it with the dialect of the Quraysh. Which is true, yes? Yes. Okay. The Quraysh includes all these, so there were different dialects in Quraysh. Yeah, different Thank dialects you. Quraysh. No, so, so what, was what, what was he standardizing? What was he standardizing? This is my point. What was he standardizing? So he, what he done is he gathered them all in one book. Right, Thank and what you. did he do with the other dialects? That's why I gave you the example. What did he do with the other dialects? Because he did the same book. What did he do with the other dialects? The other, no. With what, what he done with the other ones is that they, they couldn't be read all in one. So what he done with them is he burned they them They contradicted so them, so why? he burned them. Who said? Come on, man. He burned them away. Why, why, do, why do people burn things? What, if I, if because, it, you don't, because you cannot read them. If you burn a picture dialects. of your mother, is that bad? It's a bit disrespectful, isn't it? It's, it's not. It's so not. why would you burn a scripture? Why would you stop burning a picture of your mother? Well, you, you, you have the answer now. No, one minute. He has the answer. You have the answer. Why? Uthman burned the other ones because it could not be read in one in different dialects. He burned them book. because he was standardizing your you religion. Said because. You saying that because I'm telling you why because he's a Muslim. Right. You, he knows more you're than you're asking me. I'm giving you the answer. Don't say what you. You're think. not giving me your answer. You're just saying, don't well, don't worry about it. It's okay. No, it was just this. I didn't say that. I said the compil compilation of Osman done. You could be reading it from all different dialects in that one book. The ones he burned, you couldn't do that. Now you have the answer. What is your question? Your question is simple. Why do you trust a religion that was standardized by one man who, said who it was came after your man. prophet? Who said it was? Who, so do you, think, you know it was standardized. Okay, so That's the whole think, point. Do what did, did Uthman do? So, he said it was Uthman. Uthman. So you think Uthman? Yeah. You think Uthman written it himself? No. He took so the different. One man, he took the different recitations. He took the different recitations and he compiled it into one copy of the Quraysh dialect and he sent it out. Yeah, he had a team of scribes. It says that in the hadith. So it's not Uthman on his own then. Yes, I know it's not Uthman on his own. But he's the one who's. Who's so doing this? Well, the the yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he, he had scribes as well. So, one minute. Yeah. so you saying that it's not Osman on his own? You brought it he the was the one that. in charge. Okay, he was the one in charge. Do no you disagree problem. with that? No problem. This is your own hadith. I just, no we just read the hadith. He was the one in charge. Yeah. And guess what? You know who was under him? The companions, all the ones that were with the Prophet. Sure. So they all agreed. They all so argued about person. what should be in the Quran. No, they all agreed. Or by Ibn Kaab had a different, he had 116 verses in his Quran. Good. 116 uh, surahs, sorry. Excuse me. And then Abdullah ibn Masud had 111 one minute, in his. One minute, one minute. Hmm. You don't even understand. What is a surah? What is a verse? So there's a when, chapter. Yes, Ayah is a verse. Tell me if the words were different. They're, yeah, they are. They tell literally me. include different things. No, the way it was written and the way it was read. No. Okay, well, Bayim and Kaab had 116 surahs in his Quran, in his codex it that he about had. Surahs. Up north, it doesn't matter about surahs. In Kufa, in Baza. It doesn't matter about surahs. It's about it what matter about is surahs. the context. What? If I could what is the word? If I showed you it's a Quran that had 117 surahs in it, is that a problem? One minute. It doesn't matter about if there were 200 surahs. It doesn't I matter. Could, I could check I what I'm saying. You, I could say to you, I could come along to you and say, a paragraph finishes there, a par some of them they say finishes no, there. No, they're not structured, well, they were yes, structured differently. It was like but that. it wasn't just yes, that. It was there like, was also no, different this surahs. This is wrong. This is where no, you're going wrong. This is where you're going wrong. You don't know. It was structured. It is. That's why it was like that. It was structured. They argued about it. There's actually a hadith where they go, this is unacceptable, they're reciting different, they said they have different uh, Qurans. We don't want to be like the Christians and Jews. That's literally yes. a hadith. And that's why they didn't become like So they them. argued that's about it then, didn't they? Because they had different they ideas about what was dialects. in the Quran. No, that's why they, that's why they compiled one where you can read all the dialects no. so they don't become like the Christian oh, Jews. Hafs was from Kufa. So that they have yeah, yeah, Hafs, Hafs isn't even from the Quraysh tribe. Hafs Who's isn't even... Hafs is later on. That's, that's the main, that's the, that's the Quran today. No, that's like you saying... What's the most read Quran today? One minute, one minute. Do you know what Hafs is? You know Hafs, Hafs is a dialect, yeah? It, Hafs is not it, it dialect. can be traced, traced Hafs back. Hafs is a person. Yes, I know it's a person, but yes. he recited okay. it in a particular way, so yes? He, and he got it from Asim, yes? Yes, okay. Right, his second. teacher. But that's not only one Does dialect. that go back to the Croatian dialect? That, yes, of course it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it, goes it does. goes back to Kufa. <laughs> No, 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 no. Are you it doesn't even go back. It doesn't even go back to the Ajaz. Yeah, Hafsa, you know what Hafsa and Asim is? They're from Kufa themselves. No, no, they're, from, no they're from Kufa. Yeah, but they're not from the Hejaz. So do they, Only no, cer no, certain the recitations go back to, to Mecca. They're from Hejaz. They're from Kufa. So when they, when so, they, so, 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 so. When they the learned, main, the main Quran that you read today is called the Hafsa Quran. Okay, one it does not go back where to the Quran dialect. Where am I now? That's a problem. Am I in Mecca? No, no, you're a speaker's corner. Okay. So am I Muslim? Yeah, you're a Muslim. Okay, so does, that so, mean, so does that mean because Hafsa was in Kufa? No, it's because Uthman, because Uthman, Uthman, Uthman said he had standardized it in the Quraysh dialect, Uthman but the Quran today does not point back to the Uthman, Uthman Quraysh dialect. Hafs. Do you know the. Do you I know, know the I know, but Hafs deviates from it. 
Who said he, who said he deviates from Because he didn't get it from the Croatian dialect. He didn't of get it from that. Croatia dialect. He got it from, he you got it from a totally different line of dialect. You're telling me that this is not black? Hobbes uh, was born in Kufa. He was born, you're me? He was born like a thousand kilometers away. It doesn't matter. Do you think he not traveled? Do you think he didn't have teachers from there? You're talking about Quran. dialects and how, look, look, there's this particular that, dialect in Mecca, believe, the Croatia dialect. Believe, and you're like, oh, but don't worry if it comes a thousand believe, miles away. Do you believe people can travel? My friend, I think I don't think you've you've answered this I question. I don't think you've even understood. Do you I think, think people I have, can't right. travel? That's not a good argument. That's not a Do you good think argument. people can't travel? That's not a good argument. Answer my question. People can travel. There you but go. If That's you, the answer. If you have a dialect you and it's from Kufa, then it is not from the Croatian dialect in Mecca. Just it's because, not from the Hijaz. Just because Hafs was from Kufa and he lived there. What's, what's, what's the Quran read today? What's the Quran read by 95% of Muslims today? What were the citations? It's the dialect. Is it? Yes. I thought it was a half Quran. And a half came from Kufa. He comes from Kufa dialect. No. Oh, you're telling listen, me listen. you're being very you're stupid right? now. No, I, I, I think you. You're telling me about Hafs being Kuf. Okay, Kufa doesn't listen, have listen, his own listen, dialect. Listen. Me and you are going to okay. disagree. We're no, going to no, disagree. You can't because you're saying wrong things. Well, you're I think you're saying me, wrong things. You're telling me that this is not okay. black. Okay. Let's end it there. You're telling me because that you're a man. Yes, listen. You're let's telling me you're a let's, woman. Let's, let's, let's end it there. Because you're not you're not going to agree with what I'm saying. I'm not going to agree with what you're saying. Okay, go and go and research what I've said. Yeah, about William Kab. And you, okay, you Go okay, research the people of Kufa, you're yeah. saying the people of Kufa, who did they study from? Listen, I, I want to move no, on no, from this now, because we're just going to go back and forth. No, because you said I've so wrong. told you that you the Hafs Quran does said, not come from the Croatian tribe, said, yes? It doesn't come from the Croatian tribe. You believe it's the Osmani script. Osmani script is from Quraysh. So how do you think Hafs is not come from Quraysh? Because Hafs wasn't in the Mecca, it didn't come from there. It didn't come from... Why does he where, have to live in one... So today, okay. Where, where, okay, where okay, is the manuscripts okay, that came from? Okay, okay, okay. Good question, good question. I'm here in UK. Mm. So when listen, I read the, so if you're saying I read the Hafs Quran, mm. if you're saying I read the Hafs Quran, mm. somebody comes up to me and says, "Oh, you're not reading the Hafs Quran. You're reading a UK Quran." Mm. Are they different right? Qurans? Huh? Are they different Qurans? You're, you're gonna, I'm saying if somebody comes mm. and says to me, you're not reading Hafs Quran, you're mm. reading UK Quran. Mm. Does that make any sense? It does in some ways. How does it make sense? Let me sense? explain. How does because, it make sense? Because there are different Qurans from different places. How For example, in Morocco, so the Wolf's Quran, Quran is more commonly read so than the Hafs Quran. So the Hafs Quran is more commonly so read in places like Saudi Arabia. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. In a way, let me explain. Because there is geographically based Qurans. There is no UK Quran. Quran. I know, but so there is geographically Quran? based Quran. But how are you saying it's there Quran? is a Quran from Morocco called the, yeah, which is not from, but is is specifically it's, spoken it's in Morocco. Been published. It's the Welsh Quran. It's been published in Quran. It's been published. Yeah, in it's a different areas. Quran. It doesn't mean different Quran. I can go online and buy it. You know that. You so know, bring it to me, and I will tell you if it's a Quran. It's the exact same. Wait, what? Oh, I'm gonna wrap this up because we're gonna go back and forth because yeah. me and you are gonna so disagree. Before you go, so, before you go, just to tell you mm. that the Quran is preserved the way it was from day one, and you want to say it's wrong? I can sit here today with you, bring a Quran from anywhere in the world, and I will tell you it's the same one that I'm reciting. And okay. you say that you you ran away from Shamsi ran away from you. Now you are saying you want to wrap up. It is. So right. He walked away from me. I still. So you're running away from me now. <laughs> I don't think yes. so. I just want to be because because me and you so have talked away. about the same thing. Because things. you know that there is no such thing as a Kufa Quran. There is no such thing. The Kufa Kufans where they studied and yeah, it's a place, is right? A point. Yes, exactly. yes. So and they, they had a different and dialect. Yes. And how is from Kufa? And how is from Kufa? Mate, and, it's and not. Where is his teacher from? Your Saudi Arabian Quran. You don't make sense, my brother. Where do you know that? Do you know that? Is did Hafs did Hafs, did Hafs not have any teachers? Where did Hafs not have any teachers? Did Hafs not have any teachers? No, no, no. Kufa Quran. This is a new Quran you made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have a Uthman Quran. We have none of the manuscripts on that, by the way. It's completely lost. The funny thing is, the day the day you actually study Islamic history, the day you actually study Islamic history, you will be ashamed. You will be ashamed. Or you are ashamed. Half to watch. Okay, let's go wrap up. Hello. You're running away. You're Ben, yeah? You're, nice to meet you. I'm Chris. It was it was quite interesting. Um, it was a case of a Muslim, a Dai, I believe, that thinks he knows the Islamic faith, but when pressed about the actual narrations that are Sahih, that are recorded in Sahih al Bukhari, clearly he doesn't understand too much because in Sahih al Bukhari and other trusted narrations, he talks about Ubay ibn Kab, it talks about Abdullah ibn Masud having totally different Qurans with different surahs. Clearly, the early companions of Muhammad, they disagreed about what was inside the Quran. And then Uthman took these disagreements and he standardized them in the Croatian dialect. 
This is clear proof that the Quran has not been perfectly preserved, but rather has been changed by man. Islam is not the religion of Muhammad, it is the religion of Uthman. God bless, have a good day.